Hey everyone, this is Vibhav Shandalya from ESIC Medical College, Hyderabad and today we will be uh, discussing about Q fever which is co caused by uh, Coxiella burnetii. So this is a very short topic and this is not one of the most important ones but there's just one or two pointers you need to remember from this topic and we'll discuss exactly those. So we'll be talking about the pathogenesis, clinical features, lab diagnosis and treatment. Coming to the pathogenesis, the source of infection of Q fever is zoonotic infection caused by cattle, sheep or goat. This is I think the only question that can be asked from this topic. What is the source of infection? Cattle, sheep and goat. They will give you a classic a classic uh, vignette of a farmer in India and he gets a fever and it's basically Q fever. If it's a farmer, you think Q fever. Directly a farmer, you think Q fever. You start to think Q fever. Cattle, sheep and goat are the sources of infection. Basically, the animal faces, they, they uh, lay down uh, spores in the soil and the dust from this soil gets inhaled in the form of aerosols and causes this infection. Rarely, it can also be caused by ingestion of unpasteurized milk. But this is also, even though it is rare, you get MCQs from here as well. Unpasteurized milk and a farmer Q fever. Clinical features, you get either acute Q fever or chronic Q fever. Okay. So acute Q fever is more severe as you can see, we have so many here and just one here. So in acute Q fever we have hepatitis, interstitial pneumonia, fever, CNS manifestation, uh, pericarditis and myocarditis. Okay, all those wild diseases here, hepatitis, pneumonia, fever, CNS, pericarditis, myocarditis are covering a lot of organ systems here in acute Q fever. In chronic Q fever just endocarditis. Okay. Next, coming to the lab diagnosis, it's a gram-negative cocobacilli, extremely fastidious, that means it needs a lot of nutrition and other uh, supplemented supplements to survive, okay. Uh, IFA shows uh, LPS antigen, we can detect LPS antigen in direct fluorescent antibody testing. Molecular shows PC, uh, in PC, using PCR, we can detect them. Treatment, okay, we give uh, doxycycline or I think a um, very minor um, question inactivated whole cell vaccine or QVAX. Okay, you can remember this if you want. So, overall, very small topic, and the most important thing you can remember is you will get a farmer who has cattle, sheep, or goat, and there might be ingestion of some unpasteurized milk. So, you just suspect Q fever. I gave you the manifestations already, and uh, you can treat it using QVAX. Okay. Very small topic. Thank you for watching.